Good afternoon, Madam President. I stand in support of this uh, very important piece of legislation uh, that um, also impacts uh, my family greatly. Uh, my uh, elder sister uh, was married to a gentleman uh, who was 50 years old, only when she was 17 years of age uh, in the beautiful island of St. Lucia. And I've seen the devastating impact that it has had on her uh, physically and how it deprived her of her innocence and her, of her childhood. And she bore five children uh, from this marriage and eventually had to flee from the island of St. Lucia and to move down to Florida in order to get away from her abuser. Um, much have already been said by uh, many of my colleagues, and I want to align my comments, uh, particularly with uh, Senator May Flexer. But well, we understand that early marriages not only have devastating consequences for a girl's life, uh, it also helps to end her childhood and force uh, her into adulthood before uh, she's physically and mentally ready. Also, we know that it deprives uh, young women of their rights uh, to quality health care, uh, to education, uh, to safety, uh, and to engage in um, economic prosperity, oftentimes because they are dependent on uh, their abuser uh, to take care of them. And it's a vicious cycle that not only impacts them, but it also impacts children that may come from these unions. Uh, we also know that statistics shows uh, that they are less likely uh, to move on and to get education, uh, and oftentimes are trapped um, with dealing with significant mental health challenges as a result of what these marriages do to them. So I'm very happy that the state of Connecticut is aligning ourselves with what other states around us have already done. It's a step in the right direction. It's a moral thing to do. Uh, and I just want to um, just offer up my sincere uh, sympathies to uh, the women who have had to endure such hardships. Uh, and once and for all, the state of Connecticut uh, is joining forces with you and standing in full solidarity uh, with your flourishing of moving forward and without having to um, engage in underage marriage in our state. So, Madam President, I urge uh, my colleagues uh, to really vote for this uh, important piece of legislation today. Thank you.